Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Michael Annette, the driver of the number one pilot flying J Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. How's it going, man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Doing well, Michael. Um, first off, how is the year going for you so far? Uh, it's been, it's definitely been a, a tough year so far. Uh, not, not the smoothest, smoothest start to the season. Um, you know, we had a couple mechanical issues with flat tires and had an engine issue at Phoenix and, and, uh, you know, two wrecks at the super speedway. So those have, those have been setbacks, but, um, you know, we've had some really good weekends as well, putting a, a whole, whole weekend together or at this point, a whole race, uh, all three segments and stuff. So, um, we need to, need to bump our performance up. You know, we need to be consistently top five, not, not happy with, you know, top 10 consistency. So, uh, you gotta be running in that top five, uh, weekend and week out to, uh, put yourself in position to win races. So, uh, we're close. We just, we just got to step it up that little bit and, uh, it will be right where we need to be. You know, overall the last few weeks, junior motors, the last uh, few months, I should say, junior motorsports is really kind of stepped up its performance. All four cars, you know, running well, you know, you're, you, uh, Justin's picked up some wins. Noah's ran well, Josh has ran well. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and Josh, of course, picked up a win. What, what overall it's, uh, it's gotta be a good year. What do, what do you think it is? Because it didn't start off that well for you guys. And then you guys kind of, you guys got to pick it up and you mm -hmm. know, really you got, you guys are really having some consistent runs. Yeah. I, it was probably, uh, one of the, the worst starts to a season for, for JRM with, the uh, um, you know, wrecking all our cars and, you know, they're at Daytona and just, uh, just a lot of crazy stuff happened, uh, within, with our organization uh, during the races that just normally doesn't happen, but uh, there was always uh, showing a lot of speed. You know, Noah showed all that that speed at Homestead, and and then got caught up there at the end. And and um, you know, Justin's fast everywhere, and and obviously it didn't take Josh very long to uh, to get these cars figured out. So um, it definitely uh, it has been an awesome season for for JRM so far, and just. Uh, like I said earlier, you gotta, you gotta be running the top five and, and do what, you know, Josh and, and Justin were able to do, uh, you know, where you're starting in those first two rows and, you know, towards the end of these races on restarts and, and battling out and showing the speed they did at Dover and the, the whole race, uh, you know, racing amongst those two uh, pretty much till, till the very end. So that's the key. Um, you know, we continue to improve our performance. It'll, it'll help our, our starting position. You know, we've been starting outside the top 10 because of where we're at in points. So that, that, that kind of hurts us, but, um, you know, there's other guys that have done the same thing and have, you know, they find their way at the front. So, um, just got to continue to fire off better and better in the, that first segment and just get yourself, uh, you know, the track position you need come that second and third segment. So, uh, things continue to, you know, we're always going in the right direction. So definitely looking forward to having a little practice at a mile and a half. Finally, uh, you know, on Friday, just uh, there's a lot of stuff we, we talk about that you want to try, but you really, uh, it's just not something you want to throw in the car and hope it works because uh, it'll just make for a long day. So uh, especially with, you know, having a, a new crew chief this season with Bummy, it would, uh, you know, we, we've just been looking forward to, to being able to go out, make an adjustment, come back and talk to it, A to B, it, just give him a chance to kind of learn more of a, the feel I'm looking for. So, um, you know, practice Friday is something we, we've all been real looking forward to and just going to help excel kind of what I'm talking about, of finding just that little bit more to uh, put us in contention. Yeah, of course. Yeah, new crew chief this year, not as many practices um, this year, of course, you're getting it this week. How beneficial will it be to have practice this week here at Charlotte? I know you had it at Kona as well. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be, you know, it's going to be really beneficial. Uh, one thing with Charlotte, like we were we were just talking about in our, in our meeting, uh, uh, preparing for the weekend. One thing with Charlotte is you can get yourself down a rabbit hole pre pretty quick if you just go out, run two or three laps, come in, um, make an adjustment, go back out. Uh, with just having a set of tires for that 50 minutes, it's uh, definitely more beneficial. Be methodical, take your time, um, go make a five, 10 lap run, come in, talk about it and, and really have strategic changes uh, because, you know, Charlotte was, is a track that, that 
will wear wear tires out pretty quick, especially with it being 90 degrees. Um, it's just something where you to really get a good dissection of, of the change me, made, you need to you need to take your time. So you're you're anxious and and you want to obviously make a bunch of changes because we don't get to do it very often. Uh, try things out, but you also um, you know you you come in and out you know more than four times at Charlotte. Uh, you can go to make a change on that that fifth change and not even sure if it was uh, you know the in and out on tires or actually a change you made made it better or worse. Yeah, um, yeah. So far, it's you're going to all these different types of tracks. Charlotte, you got another road course in Mid Ohio next uh, in next week, and then and then Texas and then Nashville. A lot of places that you know all different types of tracks coming up on the schedule what do you what do you think heading into these these next few races we want to see out of the one team yeah i mean i'm looking forward to them just we we had a really strong uh car at, at las vegas and can kind of you know put that up against a place like charlotte a little you know a place like texas so um when when you have a, a good package you feel like at a at a mile and a half uh you know you're going to go to quite a few more throughout the year so that always uh, always makes you um, you know feel pretty good and, and confidence going into those tracks, especially without practice, because you know your your baseline is pretty close. And and then uh, on, on road courses, I you know I was really happy with um, you know the package we brought to Coda, the the way the front end felt, felt uh, in prior prior road course races, and just felt like I uh, it was one of my better ones. The an eleventh isn't much to talk about but just um, how the confidence I left that track with feeling like I was a better road course racer coming out of there so to uh, to go to a place like mid-Ohio where I've, I've got a bunch of laps and know the the braking zones and, and the little uh, ins and outs of that place uh, to to go in there with the most confidence I've had on I, in my road course racing ability is uh, is huge and then like I said just uh, you know more mile and a half after that with um you know, Texas and, and Charlotte this weekend and then Nashville, not not too far down the line, which going in there, I think I, I probably have the the most experience besides uh, my teammate, Justin, uh, in the field going into Nashville, just running there uh, when I first started and in, in, in ARCA and in, in Xfinity. So um, definitely I feel like I have an advantage there. Yeah. All right. Michael and Annette, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us and uh, good luck this weekend at Charlotte. I appreciate it, Casey. Thank you.